everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing my top 14 books that I read in 2014, which is so awesome. I'm so excited to show you guys my favorites. These aren't necessarily all books that came out in 2014. In fact, most of them did not come out in 2014, but they're all books that I read during the year. I was going to maybe do another video where it was books that came out in 2014 and then ones that didn't, but I couldn't find enough like absolute favorites that came out this year, so I decided I would just compile them all together. So some of these came out in 2014. Some of them did. These books aren't in order of like best to not best, but I will be having my star rating here on the screen of one out of five stars, five being the best, one being the worst. Obviously, these aren't going to be one star books because they're my favorites of 2014, but I'm just going to get on started. The first book is The Selection by Kira Cass. This is a series, and the first book in the series is this one right here, and I absolutely loved this book. I loved the whole series, but I definitely had to include the first one in this countdown. Next book is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuki. I absolutely loved this book. It was probably in my top five books that I read in 2014, and it did not come out in 2014. I think it came out in like 2010 or something like that, but it was so amazing. I don't know if you guys have heard about this book. It's a very taboo book. It's about sibling incest, but it is so good, and I think you should give it a try if you love young adult books. If you think you might be interested in something kind of taboo, I really recommend this book. It's really awesome. It's a great Next read. book is Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This did come out in 2014 and it was kind of the wrap-up to our Anna and the French Kiss little book series type thing and I absolutely loved it. Isla became basically my favorite out of the three girls. I love them all so much. I love all three books but it was so awesome to read Isla. I thought she was so fun and the story was great and it's just so sad that this little series is over because they're some of my favorite contemporary romance young adult books out there so I definitely had to include Isla in this countdown. Next book is probably very predictable for me but that's going to be Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Of course this came out this year. Anything by Colleen Hoover I obviously will have in this countdown which brings me to my next book which is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover which also came out in the year 2014. Both of these books were excellent reads. As you guys may or may not know, Colleen Hoover is my all-time favorite author, so anything she writes is obviously going to be in my top count for the year. So both of these books are amazing new adult picks. Next book I have for you is Panic by Lauren Oliver. I believe this came out this year, and it was the first Lauren Oliver book that I have. I have not read the Delirium series yet. I own all three books, but I haven't read it yet, so hopefully in 2015 I'll get to that. But I loved this book. I loved it so much. I thought it was so awesome. This book basically follows a girl and this other guy too. It's alternating chapters and it's them being involved in this game called Panic which is, happens every single summer in this little town they live in and it's basically these teenagers doing crazy stuff to get money and it's really intense, really awesome, great fast-paced read. I definitely recommend this one. Next book that I read in 2014 that I adored was Wonder by RJ Palacio or RJ Palacio or whatever and I totally loved this book. It's become one of my favorite books of all time. I have a full review on it if you would like to watch it. I'll link it down below. I think it was the first actual full-length book review I ever did, so I'll put that down below if you're interested in watching it because this book is something that I recommend to anybody. If you have not read this book, you need to read this book. It's a children's book, but I recommend adults, teenagers, anybody to read it. It's a great, great story, and it teaches you an amazing lesson about, you know, not being judgmental of people just because what they look like and it's awesome so I definitely recommend this book. Another book in my top picks is Better Off Friends by Elizabeth Alberg. This book I don't think I gave a five star rating. I think it might have been like three and a half or something like that but I really enjoyed reading it. I thought it was super fun to read. It was really fast paced. It's kind of like When Harry Met Sally which is one of my favorite movies of all time so I really liked it for that reason, which I think it's probably why it creeped its way into my top 14, just because it reminded me of that movie. It was such a fun story to read, and I loved how, you know, their relationship, the two main characters, progress. Yeah, so that's in my top 14. Next book is The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I actually read this in January of 2014, so it was one of the first books I read in the year, and I absolutely loved it. And the movie's coming out next year, so if you have not read this yet, you need to get your hands on it. I watched the trailer for the movie, and it looks like it's kind of different from the book, but I'm still excited to see their take on it less, but this is a really funny book and it's super fast paced. I read this book in one sitting, so that kind of says everything, but I really recommend it if you haven't read it. It's super funny. Next book I'm going to be showing is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. This has become easily my favorite book by Rainbow Rowell. It's an adult book, not young adult, but it was the last book I read recently of hers and it's become my favorite, even though Fangirl and Eleanor Park have creeped their way into my top 14 of the year as well. I had not read any Rainbow Rowell until 2014. 
14. So, of course, all three books that I read by her are in the countdown because I love Rainbow Rowell. She's so awesome and her books are amazing and they're so fun to read. All her characters are so special. I always get so attached. Rainbow Rowell just writes her characters in a way that it's like you just get attached to them. There's no attached. <laughs> but <laughs> But yes, I absolutely loved all three of these books, and they're all in my top 14 of the year. This book I have is Cracked by K.M. Walton, and now I have not heard anybody else other than myself talk about this book here on BookTube, so it's not a very popular book, I guess. And I had never heard of it before, but I read the back, and it intrigued me. This book basically follows two kids. One is a bully, and one is the one getting bullied by him, and they both end up in a mental hospital, basically, as roommates, and it's pretty crazy. So it's basically just them dealing dealing with having to be with each other. You know, this one kid who basically almost committed suicide because of the other kid, and the other kid's in the mental hospital too because, you know, of whatever. I don't want to spoil anything, but of whatever. So it's a really interesting story, and it's just really heartfelt, and I really felt for the characters, and I had never read anything like it before at the point in time when I read it, and I've never heard anybody else talk about it, so I think you should go pick it up if that sounds anything interesting to you. I'll have every single one of these books, the Goodreads links for every single one, linked below so you guys can check it out a little bit more and see what each book's kind of more about because I know I'm not really doing full in plot summaries. But yes, I'll definitely have it linked down below so you can learn more about and it. And the last book that I'm going to be having in my favorites of 2014 is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I absolutely loved this book. I thought it was super fun to read. It basically is about this one girl who has this best friend and her best friend disappears at the beginning of the summer but she leaves behind a list of a couple things that she wants her to do like crazy stuff like steal something and go skinny dipping and it's just so fun to read her try to attempt all these challenges because she thinks that the only way to get her friend back is if she completes the list. So I thought it was so fun to read. A really nice summary kind of story and I really enjoyed reading That's it. the last one. So. Leave me a comment below if you would like to share your top 14 books of 2014 or just whatever books that you enjoyed reading this year. I would love to hear about it. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you have not already and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you all very very soon. Bye! So come on